Good evening and welcome to PSVR News on this evening's edition. PSVR without paroles hands-on with PSVR 2 reveals that there is hope for the PSVR 2 cable being replaceable. Why PSVR 2 is unlikely to work on PC anytime soon. Plus, a reliable leaker indicates Sony is nearly ready to give us some news. Miles Dyer of PSVR Without Parole recently went hands-on with the PSVR 2 Unis itself, courtesy of Fast Travel Games, where he shed some light on the mystery of the cable. For many months now, people have wondered if the PSVR 2 cable can be disconnected from the headsets to make it easier to replace in the event of it being damaged. Without Parole's video indicated that it looked like it could be removed, however, it may require some disassembly to do so, potentially voiding warranty. It remains to be seen if Sony would issue players with a replacement cable or recommend it to be sent in to be repaired by Sony themselves. Those hoping for the PSVR 2 to run on their PCs may be in for a long wait. That's according to the creator of the PSVR 1 compatibility driver. Our PC support correspondent, Jordan B. Peterson, has more. The VR world holds its breath as PSVR 2 nears its release. Certainly those in the PlayStation community, but also a sizable number of PC gamers. Those who were hopeful of the headset being able to run PC VR titles. However, the developer of the PSVR 1 compatibility drivers had this to say on Reddit when a user asked if they should buy a PSVR 2 for use on their PC. You would be wasting your money as there is no guarantee you could ever use it on a PC. Quite a good chance that you won't be able to. The original PSVR is electronically equivalent to a monitor, and so it is relatively simple to get a video signal up on it. Reading sensors, etc. took a lot of reverse engineering and at least a year from release before anyone figured that out. It then took a couple more years before it was usable as a PC VR headset. That is without Sony making any effort to prevent non-PS4 users from using it. Even if they haven't encrypted headset data, it will take a lot of reverse engineering just to get an image on the headset. Then there is the tracking, which would need to be developed as there isn't a ready-made slam tracker available for Windows. It seems to me that the only way the PSVR 2 will run on a PC would be with the official blessing of Sony themselves. And while Sony have become more adventurous in the PC gaming space in recent years, with games like God of War and Spider-Man making the jump, they have, as of yet, made no mention of PSVR 2 and PC being compatible. The takeaway here is not to hold your breath. Doing so may only lead you to pain. Then again, nothing is more real than pain. Pain and truth. This is Jordan Berman Peterson. Back to you in the studio. Our final story tonight. Reliable gaming industry leaker known as The Snitch has come out of retirement to tease some new information. In a message posted to his Discord server, the snitch reveals that Sony are planning to announce third-party stuff soon. Given the snitch's track record, there's every reason to believe him. However, there is no guarantee that any of these announcements will be related to PSVR 2. Yet given PSVR 2's launch date drawing so near, the possibility is relatively high. Support PSVR news by liking, subscribing and all that usual YouTube and shite. That's it for this edition of PSVR news. See you in the next one. Please stay moist.